Federal officials grilled by Congress over their enforcement of vaping products marketed towards children. The FDA was accused of moving too slowly. Connor Hansen has that story. Cracking down on the teen vaping trend. This week, the Department of Justice and the FDA announced a new task force to address illegal e-cigarettes being sold in the U.S. I'm still struggling to get over my nicotine addiction, and I blame it all on the blueberry ice vape. The FDA started enforcing a ban on flavored e-cigarettes marketed towards children in 2020, but lawmakers aren't satisfied with the results. The FDA cannot create a functioning market of regulated tobacco products through fines and warning letters alone. Senators pointed out examples they found of illegal flavored vapes being sold. These illegal products, clearly designed for kids by their flavors, are being sold in FDA's shadow of their building headquarters, less than a mile from your headquarters. FDA representatives told the lawmakers they are bogged down and need more resources, but they have started to seize illegal products, take legal action, and impose fines on manufacturers and distributors. On the same day, New York officials announced a $27 million investment in preventing youth vaping after a settlement with the e-cigarette company Juul. Here in New York, almost one in four high school students reported vaping nicotine in 2020. According to a 2023 National Youth Tobacco Survey, more than two million teens reported using e-cigarettes, down from more than five million in 2019, after Congress raised the minimum purchase age to 21. Right now, there are only 23 e-cigarette products that are approved by the FDA. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.